Hi, I'm Michael Josephson, the founder of Character Counts and the Josephson Institute of Ethics. And I want to talk briefly about the whole notion of what Character Counts 5.0 is, how it distinguishes from previous versions, and why we hope whether you're using any previous version of Character Counts, you really ought to upgrade, or if you haven't started Character Counts, what are some of the exciting things about what we call Character Counts 5.0. First of all, in principle, we use the, le the numbering very much in the same way that uh, Windows does when they talk about to Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 3. Uh, we have gone through major evolutions and we only change the number, We obviously the previous one was Character Counts 4.0, when we think we're making major enough changes that people should be retrained and look at the whole approach because we've either added some things or consolidated some things or made major improvements. Character Counts 5.0 is far and away our most sophisticated program. It's gone well beyond the notion of just character development built on the six pillars. Those are still very fundamental to anything we do. But we also spend a great deal more time on what we call the academic domain, the social and emotional domain, which includes a lot of the characteristics commonly referred to as grit or uh, social intelligence or emotional intelligence, you know, things like conscientiousness and diligence and self-control. But we also have really integrated more fully than we ever have before the concepts of academic development, social emotional development, and character development with the whole idea of school climate. School climate is, we think, the real foundation to producing the kind of atmosphere or the platform which is ideal for maximum student development. Uh, character Counts has moved from just a character program, as I said, to we now call ourselves a student development program. And our major trainings are student development workshops because we've taken the same fundamental principles that have been so enormously successful in instilling values and changing attitudes and behaviors with regard to moral things and characters such as bullying and the use of violence and cheating and honesty, and use those same basic principles to try to instill the values, for instance, of the love of learning and belief that one can learn and a belief that getting a college education or first a high school education is important. So the academic domain has now included all of the motivating factors we have of creating the values and attitudes that will make one successful. We've also totally correlated the academic domain to Common Core. And we have a set of things we call model standards, which literally go through all of the major elements of Common Core and show how to best accomplish that through these character counts methodologies, which include what we call team, teach, enforce, advocate, and model. And by using this framework as the way to introduce whether it's going to be a academic trait or whether it's going to be a social emotional trait like impulse control or or planning and organizing etc the fact is is that the same techniques work we also have developed a decision making kind of framework that is designed to accomplish change We've come to realize, and all the literature shows, that people don't change major behaviors because they're convinced logically. It's not a matter of information or reasoning. It's almost always a matter of emotion. So as a result, all of the program is based on the idea that if we want to accomplish change, and remember, every improvement is a change. If students are more honest, if they're more fair, if they're more caring, if they're more respectful, if they study harder, it's a change, is that we have to prove two things to the student. One that they can do it, and secondly, that it's worth it. We also have to sometimes show that to parents and maybe even some of the teachers. But the bottom line is, Character Counts 5.0 is the state of the art, most sophisticated application we have ever had in our almost 25 years of evolving and developing these programs. And I urge you to take a good look at it. Even if you think you have a good program now, remember one of our principles is you don't have to be sick to get better. And I promise you, however good you are, you can get better. And if you haven't adopted this at all, you will find that Character Counts 5.0 integrates beautifully with PBIS. Any other kind of program, look at it, try it, you'll be glad you did. Thank you.